I was in a black hole of customer service. I couldn't get out. I was so pissed, so angry at human beings that I made a wish. And then I met someone who made me regret it. I'm going to fill you in on everything right after the music. You're listening to 7-Minute Stories with Aaron Califato. This is Season 4. For those companies who get the customer service thing right, God bless you. I know it's not an easy problem to solve, but it's solvable. We've sent people into space. We got telescopes sending us pictures from the beginning of the universe. We have AI language models that people are afraid are going to take over the earth. Stop building products or selling services that you can't service on the customer service end. Stop it. We have a call center. Make it efficient. Figure out a way. Here's the thing. You should care. People are paying you money. So my particular situation was pretty serious because it had to do with health insurance. Now, I'm not going to go down the whole road of health insurance, what a disaster it is in this country. It is not going to go down that black hole, but it was important because I needed to update my plan. I had just gotten married. So there was this life event and I needed to add people to this plan, my kids, wife, all this stuff. I just needed to know how much this plan was going to cost with these additional members. And that's it. And I needed to do that and solidify it before the whole new open enrollment, closed enrollment, enrollment sessions, all the enrollment, 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 that whole thing, because then you got to wait a whole nother year to do it. So there's people's health on the line here. You feel me? So I went to the website. I'm the guy that goes to the website first, by the way. I understand they're going to use their deflection tactics. They're going to say, sure, go to the website. I went to the website. Guess what? Your website was built by someone who's never looked at a computer. I swear, I'm going on the website. I can hear dial-up sounds in the background. Are you kidding me? Health insurance company, you're collecting premiums. You're collecting millions of dollars. You can't get a functioning website. Go to the website, get the information. It's not there. Cool business model. Super (laughs) customer-focused. So basically, I was bullied into having to call customer service. By the way, what am I doing this for? It's to give them more money. It's to give them more business. So I called 9 a.m. in the morning and the whole music starts. You know the song. Sitting there and I think, don't get upset. Breathe. Stay in the present moment multitask, go through your emails. I got the phone on speaker. I got it on mute. I'm waiting. Got the message. Due to high call volume, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I hear you. It's all lies, but that's fine. I'll wait. And I'm waiting. 15 minutes goes by. Someone answers the phone. It's a lady. And I got to tell her the whole story. You know the story, right? You got to give the whole story, your social security number. What's your blood type? How you doing? Where are you calling from? Cool. Giving them all the data. That's even after you give them the member number. They're still asking more questions to verify your identity. You're going through it. I'm okay with that. Keep the identity safe. We finally find out who I am, which I know. They discover it. I start asking questions and I say, hey, I just need to know what this new plan is going to cost me. Sir, you should go to the website. Ma'am? Ma'am? I've been on the website. It's not there, ma'am. The information's not there. I need a price point, And I just need to know when I can enact the plan. Oh, well, you need to talk to someone in sales. Hold, please. 20 minutes goes by. I get kicked back to her. Oh, unfortunately, it didn't go over to that department. Hold, please. At this point... It's been an hour. I'm starting to lose my mind. And so I finally get to the department that I need, sales department. This guy, Spencer, answers the phone. I got to tell Spencer the whole story again. We do all that discovery. He finally gets a conversation going and we start working on solving the problem. I finally get to the point where I say, what's it going to cost me each month and how can I start it? He goes, 
sir, the problem is I can't start it for you over the phone. It's been, I'm not kidding you, two and a half hours I've been on the phone. I went through all of this and I told him, I said, Spencer, oh my God, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I might not make it before I can even put this health plan into place. He goes, what's wrong? I said, Spencer, I've been on the phone for three hours. I'm trying to buy services from your company. He goes, man, I'm sorry. I said, Spencer, I've had it. I've had it with humanity, Spencer. It's faulty. The company has been put together to crush the little guy. I want you to go to your window and I want you to say, I'm not going to take this anymore. I went nuts on Spencer. How do I get my three hours back, Spencer? As Henry Rollins once said, it's like being murdered with a small little knife. You took three hours. Your company took three hours away from me and you're telling me to go back to the website. It's not on the website. This isn't my problem. You should be issuing me a check. Spencer goes, look, I'm going to send you over to one more department. Tell them what's going on. We're going to enact this plan. We're going to figure out a way through this. I said, okay, but I'm going to tell you right now, Spencer, if you put me on hold and I end up somewhere I'm not supposed to be, I'm going to make a wish. I'm going to make a wish that AI takes over you, the entire company in the world, because I think we'd be better off if AI took over this whole damn thing at this point. He goes, all right, I'm going to put you on hold. Don't hang up, he said. Don't hang up. It might be a while. I said, I've been here all. Can I get you some lunch, Spencer? You might want me to door dash you something. He goes, don't hang up. I'm going to send you over there. I wait on hold for another hour. I didn't dare hang up the phone. Spencer told me not to. But my finger was trembling. I'm like, I can't wait any longer. I'm giving up. And just before I'm about to hit the end call button, a voice comes on and says, hey, we're here to solve your problem. We understand you've been having a hard time today. Sorry for your wait. I said, you have no idea. Then another voice comes on the line. Aaron, I just wanted to make sure you got to where you needed to go. I said, who is this? He said, it's Spencer. I said, Spencer, you've been on hold with me this whole time? For an hour? I've been on hold for an hour. He said, yeah, I just didn't want to leave you alone. I think you just helped me renew my faith in mankind. He said, what are you talking about? I said, that was a very illogical decision. I just told you, I hope AI took over. I don't think AI would make that sacrifice. It's not logical. It wastes your time. You lose other opportunities to help other customers, but you stayed on with me. He said, yeah, I guess, um... It's like the human touch. I said, yeah, I guess, I guess it is. The human touch. (sighs) Who knew? Spencer. (laughs) Freaking Spencer. Seven Minute Stories is created and performed by Aaron Califato. Our senior audio engineer is Ken Went. Our resident artist is Pete Whitehead. Original music by TJ Duke. If you or your company needs help starting a podcast, Aaron and Ken's company, Valley View, does just that. Reach out to them at valleyview.fm. Special thanks to our partners at Evergreen Podcasts, and I'm Corey Burse. Make sure to tune in next week for another story.